hello and welcome to Marathon. And we have to move right away in this one because there are enemies on both sides of us. Some of them quite nasty, like this hunter. Some guys behind me too, not sure if you heard them. But there's this porridge flying in the background. Switch the pistol, fusion pistol. And then take them out. Piece of cake. Ooh, got some flamethrower. How nice. If I remember correctly, the best the pistol or the fusion pistol is the best weapon for this because it deals pretty well with uh, both the hunters and lookers and wasps, of which there are many of all three of those. Oh dear. More invisible stuff. Those invisible lookers are a real pain in the ass later on. While they're not quite as invisible as the invisible Spit compilers, they're still pretty invisible and therefore just a pain in the ass. Always keep an eye on your motion tracker for stuff like that. Gotta move. Some of these stairs can be a bit tricky because you can kind of get stuck on them a little bit. And that's definitely not good. That's a miss. And that's a hit. Uh oh. I'll leave. Uh oh. I think I'll leave those guys till later. So let's take a look at the term and see what's what. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. The thing about fighting enemies in Marathon is that you always have to keep an eye on all the enemies that you can, just so you know how to kite and dodge properly. Oh dear, that was not a good idea. Way to go.
And sometimes there are infinite spawners where they'll just a certain uh oh a certain area will just spawn an infinite amount of enemies. Kind of like what you just saw, where those two wasps just kind of came out of nowhere. Uh oh. More timing puzzles, and a guy right behind me. Oh, ow. Ow, again. Yep, there's some hunters over here. I think there's one more. Yep. Ow, ow. Ow. Oh, damn it. Let's try this again. Oh dear. Okay, that was still a bit too close for comfort. Uh oh. It's probably gonna be stupid of me trying to pop out. Yeah, I'm just gonna continue on for now. Okay, now I have a choice. I can activate this switch. Or I can go back and save and get two times in the next. I'm gonna go back and get the charge and save and everything. Shields, I should say. Grab a quick save. And... There are kind of two ways of doing this little part. Uh, there's a little ledge up there that you can run to and continue on, but you can also go up this little hole. And right there you see a bit of a line to cut this coloring. There are a few guys down there, but that's the way you're supposed to go, and therefore the one that has the most traps, and the least fun way to go. I don't like getting stuck like that. So we're gonna go the fun way, which is essentially a back door to all these guys. Oh dear. This may end in a few deaths.
Okay. Take this back down. That was a mistake, because I can't actually get back to the two times charger this way. Yeah, there's that high ledge, you can't do that. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna play it safe and go back for the two times. Okay, time to hit the pavement. That's... I remember there being a lot more guys in that room. And then around here there is a secret little wall thing. Thing. There it is. It has some ammo and eh. If I can get off the frickin' stair. There we go. The infrared chip. Which is really fun, especially in online play. Enemies turn red, good guys turn green, or yellow, I think. It's pretty nice. Especially in darker areas. Although I don't think there are that many in this level. Again. Dodge more with the porridge. And go back in there is a little kind of labyrinthy bit that we've skipped earlier. That has some really nice goodies in it. Uh oh. No! Come on, come on, come on. Oh, jeez. That's right, I have the flamethrower. This is a good spot to use it, if I remember correctly. Yup. Oops, that's the wrong one. Right there. Okay, let's try this part again. Oop. Ow.
Yeah, there we go. There is just a flight. Actually, it looks like looks to be a slight bit of ammo up there too. I don't have any grenades though, so I can't really, I can't get it. There is a really nice three times recharger hidden in kind of a hidden panel. If I can get through this doorway, there we go. It's around this way, back where we died earlier. Top left hand or top right hand corner and we get the purple and there's nothing up there really just a wasp that spawns I think Ooh, ammo nice And continue on as earlier. Okay. This part... There's a center pillar that moves up. You have to get up into that hallway. I think also if you activate the switch, it makes it easier to get back. It raises a couple pillars so you can just run past it. Which I'm gonna get three times charge and save, and then come back and do the pillar. Oh, look, there's the alien ship in a bluish tinge. And there it is in normal colors. There we go. Nice little bit of platforming. And a nice greeting party. Just gotta run past because there's some guys over here that are a bit easier to take out because they're isolated and I'm not being shot at from above, behind, and all around. And get some nice ammo and a V rocket launcher. Fun. Do a quick save. So, it looks like we're about to be teleported onto the uh, enemy mothership. I can't really see him out at this window. But um, we're going to be the first human to actually see said ship. And things are going to be interesting because we don't really know what's going to happen. So uh, yeah, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching and I hope to see you next time.